Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I hope you've had an amazing week. For today's topic of Sunday School, we are going to be talking about Cocoist top coats. We got this question in the question box yesterday asking about a comparison of all of our top coats and their different uses. So we're gonna be going over everything in the principal line, talking about all of the different effects that we have and why we might go for those over you know, one versus the other. Let's get started. So first things first, of course, I would be crazy if I didn't start this list by talking about the ultra glossy top coat. This is our classic top coat in our line. A beautiful medium consistency, so it has a little bit of body to it. Uh, really great for going over top of nail designs to kind of smooth things out, just to give you that really perfect no wipe high shine every single time. The ultra glossy top coat would be your go-to for gel manicures, enhancements, um, over pretty much anything. This is, would be your kind of like catch-all, solve-all, do-it-all top coat. Ultra Glossy is also chip, scratch, and stain resistant, which is really great. It's going to come back to you pretty much the same way it left your service every single time. I almost never have any issues with this top coat. Big fan. And it also comes in a refill size, which we love. The next top coat that I'll talk about is our Velvet Matte Top Coat. This is our matte finish top coat. Gives you a really beautiful, Coco defines it as a fabric kind of feel. Give you a very soft hand to the manicure. Very beautiful, very like, pleasing finish instead of it being that very chalky very flat matte it feels really really smooth and soft on your hand um, should you want to use this and do a design over top of it maybe you're doing a matte and glossy look maybe you're using it before you apply chrome onto like a uh, like a isolated chrome design something like that it is best to apply this cure it and wipe it before you go ahead and do any more designs over top of it just because it gives you a little bit more um, almost like a grit um, to the feel of this finished top coat. So wipe it before you do designs and then you can go ahead and seal it um, with either more velvet matte or the ultra glossy top coat should you choose. Two things to consider when you are working with the stain barrier top coat that are very important. One being that it is a very low consistency, a low viscosity, so it's very, very thin. You can see it kind of like dripping very quickly when I hold it up like this. That means that it is a thin, thin, thin top coat. So this is not the kind of top coat that you would want to use to like rebalance or like smooth over designs or um, really give any kind of like volume with your top coat like you would with the ultra glossy. This is your low viscosity top coat. Um, in that mind, if you are doing like a 3D design, maybe you're doing something abstract with like our boba gel and you want to top coat it without losing that texture, this is what I would reach for. Because it is so thin, you can top coat textural nails without uh, sacrificing too much of the texture that you've created on your 3D design. The other important thing to note with the stain barrier top coat is that this is a semi-hard top coat. That means that this product needs to go over top of a semi-hard or hard gel base. If you were to put this over top of a soft gel manicure, like something like a classic gel manicure or something that's done with like our mega stick base, even if you've done a structured application with our mega stick base, this product is too hard to go over top of a softer gel. So it's not going to flex in the same way, which means you will get lifting, you will get cracking, and you are not gonna have a good time. This guy needs to go over something like our nail flats builder bases, our platinum filler base, or our Excel builder clear to have the proper support underneath to get a really good application. The next two top coats I'm gonna talk about are going to be the Ultra Diamond and the Ultra Rainbow No Wipe Top Coats. Now these are the same formula, same consistency as the Ultra Glossy Top Coat that we were talking about before, but they are kind of jazzed up a little bit extra with some glitter. Now they have very, very fine glitters within them. Um, the Diamond is more of a white, the Rainbow is more of like a holographic gold. Um, and they are such a fine particle glitter that you can get a really, really beautiful extra sparkle effect uh, without having any kind of grittiness to the top coat. Um, so you can add a really nice extra kind of sparkle on top of any manicure really quickly, add a little bit of extra pizzazz, and it's not going to add any extra time to your service, it just adds a little bit of extra love. Just a quick example of what they look like over black. So on the left here you have the Ultra Rainbow, and on the right you have the Ultra Diamond. Just gives you a little extra something special, don't you think? Next thing we'll talk about is a couple more effect top coats. These are the Aurora effect top coats. Now we have three of them. We've got a pink, a green, or a blue, a green, and a pink. Uh, and they are beautiful, kind of like fairy dust unicorn vibes. Goes over top of neutral nails, colorful nails, dark nails, absolutely stunning. Gives you like really heavy fairy dust pigment effect. Um, I'll throw some pictures here in the next slide so you guys can see some examples. So in the center you here, you can see all of the color ball swatch pieces and you can see how they kind of change the effect when they go over top of different colors to give you these beautiful fairy dust finishes. Now, honorable mention here to the Nail Thoughts Glassy Top Coat. This is our highest viscosity top coat that we have in the line. It is very hard. 
um, and it's really great for encapsulating design and really adding like a nice pillowy thick layer of top coat. If you need to add a little bit of extra strength or you just wanna smooth everything out, this is your girl. She's really, really great, but um, you kind of have to work with it a little bit because it's a little bit thicker. You need to maybe give it a little bit more time to settle and be a little bit patient with it. Overall, it is a really, really beautiful top coat. Um, this is another one that does need to go over top of semi-hard or hard builder gels because it's so hard. So there you have it, a brief overview of all of the top coats that we have in the Cocoist collection. As always, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, we have our cute little question box right up here. Feel free to drop your questions in there and I will get back to you with any answers I have. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week and we will see you next time. Take care.